Hello, it's Miss Beatty here and today we are looking at decimals. Now, this is the sort of next step in our fractions topic. So we're looking at converting fractions into decimals and we're specifically looking at tenths today. So any number that is out of 10. Now, a decimal is a way of writing a number that is not whole and you are only working with part of a number. And that's why fractions and decimals link so closely together because you're working with parts of a number. So a lot of you will recognize this it is our place value chart. Now in class, we have looked at our ones column, we've looked at our tens column, we've looked at our hundreds column, and we've looked at our thousands column. We've even gone that step further and we've looked at tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and then on to our millions, but we're not looking at that today. What we're interested in is looking at numbers that come after this decimal point that I am pointing to just now. We've got our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. And they've all got the fifth sound at the end because they've now turned into fractions. Now, numbers after a decimal point, here's our decimal point, they become decimal fractions because they're now only part of that number. Now, a decimal fraction is just any number that has to be, it can't be out of any other number, it has to be out of 10, 100, or 1,000. Now, we're looking at tenths today we're looking at this column, okay? So for example, if I had, let's say 6,273, I know that I've got, this six is representative of 1,000, sorry, 6,000. Two in the hundreds column is 200. Seven in the tens column is 70. And ones in our ones column is just going to be three. So we've got 6,273. Now, if I put, point, our point's already in place, if I put two here, that becomes point two, 6,273.2. Now point two is just a part of that number, okay? Now we're going to try and convert fractions that we're used to working with, we're going to convert them into decimals now, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So example one, write two tenths as a decimal. Here's our two tenths, and I need to write this fraction as a decimal. So essentially what you're doing is you are dividing two by 10, okay? Two by 10. You're not doing 10 divided by two, you're doing 10 divided into two. So that means that if we have our decimal point here, this needs to move back one space to here, Okay, so it becomes point two. And zeros are placeholders, so it goes here. So two tenths divided by 10 becomes 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Example number two, if we were to write four tenths as a decimal, again, that is saying how, what do we do? Do we do 10 divided by four? Yes, we do. Again, if we've got our little imaginary decimal point here, okay, you don't need to write it in, but you can if it helps. We are moving it back one space because we're dividing by 10, okay? Back one space. And again, zero has to go here because it's our placeholder. So four over 10 is equal to 0 0.4, okay? Because we're dividing our four by our 10. Let's look at this example here. Example number three, I want you to write five tenths as a decimal. Five tenths, again, so that's doing the sum five divided by 10. So by doing this sum, we are again moving our decimal point back one space, putting it here and putting zero in as our placeholder, okay? Zero point Five. So five tenths as a decimal is 0 0.5. Now, those are some examples that are going to come up in your activity sheet today. But a couple other examples that will come up are shapes. Now, what you need to do when you see a question like this is you need to first find the fraction of this shape and then you need to write it as a decimal. So first of all, we're going to find the fraction. So remember, to find your denominator, you need to count how many total parts of the shape there are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
And remember, we're working with tens today, so our denominator is always going to be 10. We've got 10 total pieces. And then the fraction of this shape is what is shaded in red. One, two, three. So we've got three tenths. There is our fraction, okay? There is our fraction, but we need to find a decimal. We need to find it and work it out as a decimal. So I'm going to move this over. What is three tenths as a decimal? Remember what I said, it's three divided by 10. So we're moving the decimal point back one space and then it becomes 0 0.3. So we have written the shape as a fraction, but we've also written it as a decimal. Okay, we'll do one more example or a couple more, a couple more examples. Find the fraction of this shape and write it as a decimal. Well, like I said, all of our examples are of 10 today because we're working with our tenths. To find the fraction, we need to count up our total parts, which is 10, and our fraction is shaded in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, 6 tenths. Oops. 6 tenths. Okay, so I'll move that over. It's a little bit messy. 6 tenths, and I need to change this into a decimal. And I know that it's just 6 divided by 10. And I am moving my decimal point back one space, so it becomes 0. 0.6. Okay, 0 0.6. So 6 tenths is equal to 0 0.6. A couple of those examples to do with shapes will come up in your questions. They will ask you to find the fraction first and then you have to write it as a decimal. So just follow these steps and you will get the correct answers. Another example is when you see a number line. Now a lot of us are familiar with number lines but most of us will look at a number line starting at zero and working all the way up to maybe 100 or working all the way up to 50. This number line is, is still correct, okay? Apart from it goes into that little bit more detail. We're starting at zero, but rather than going straight to one, we are looking at the numbers that are in between zero and one. They're not whole numbers, they are parts of this number. So that's why they're known as decimals. So we've got zero here. Then we write 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then 0 0.9. And you don't need to write 0 0.10 because 0 0.10, you just move straight on to, straight on to one, okay? 0 0.10 is essentially the same as one. 0 0.9 and it goes to one. And then so on, it would be like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, until you get all the way up to two, and then it's 2.1, 2.2. That's how decimals work, okay? Now, 0 0.1, because we're working with tenths, that is just the same as saying one tenth. Okay, one tenth. Zero point two is the same as saying two tenths. Okay, I'm not going to go through them all, but zero point three, three tenths. Zero point four, four tenths. Now notice here, zero point five. It's bang in the middle of zero and one. So zero point five must be equal to a half. And I know this because if I write this as a fraction. So we'll write 5 over 10, 5 tenths. And if I ask myself, well, how many times does 5 go into itself? The answer is 1. How many times does 5 go into 10? The answer is 2. So 5 tenths is equivalent to, we've looked at our equivalent fractions, is equivalent to a half. So 0 0.5 is halfway between 0 and 1. Okay, so when you get a question about number lines, that is how you understand them, okay? That's how you understand a number line that's asking you to find the decimals and converting them into fractions. Now, I hope this video helps. We're gonna be working on um, converting fractions into decimals, into tenths, obviously, today. 
hundreds and then eventually a thousands okay sorry thousands and it's quite difficult to say you have to make sure you always have the th sound at the end and they, they are only parts of the number we'll get more practice and it'll hopefully become easier by the end of the week so have a go at the activity sheets and let us know how you get on uh, by messaging us on teams or sending us an email okay remember to ask questions if you need help